a minute away. Exactly. Certainly they're banking around maybe coming into position, but I think you're absolutely right. After years and years oh. of preparation, Yves Voici on the verge of making an historic. There and is the door, the door opening now. All right, and this is going to be a this tense few no. seconds now. No. There's the ignition, it looks like, perhaps. Is that uh, what we're looking at now? The it looks like it, yeah. And this Climbing is out, you see himself bracing. Yep, those engines are ignited, so obviously we've gotten through that. Well, that's a very, very critical point because if they flare or explode in that airplane, that that's trouble. And here he is, waiting. This is it. We're going to listen to Final checks underway. Uh, I can't believe how comfortable he is hanging out the door of that airplane oh, I know. at 10,000 feet. And we're getting word from Jean-Marc, the pilot of the Pilatus, that we're less than a minute away right now. This is the countdown. Now he's outstanding probably. Is he on a step there or the wheel of that aircraft? There's a step there that he can brace himself on. He's hanging on to the strut uh, he looks and the very, other side very of the ready door. To go. Unreal. My heart is in my mouth. There, there he goes. goes. There is Yves Voici. And I think the wing is Amazing. open. The wing is open. So our first critical moment, it, it's open. He is down. I, is he flying? It, look, it looks like he's stabilized. He's starting to make That's his it. climb. There's that 90 degree turn you're talking That's about, right. taking him out. He's out over the channel. And away he goes. We might be able to see the porter. Uh, that was Jean-Marc take the lead. But there is Yves Rossi, Fusion Man. Is, there is Yves Rossi. There is no turning back now. He is over the English Channel and underway. Ladies and gentlemen, a historic flight has begun. Fly, Fusion Man. <laughs> this is just an it's amazing incredible. Unbelievable. Well, he looks like he's got it well in hand. That looks like a nice, stable flight. Now, just to talk you through some of the views we're going to see, obviously we have this shot from the uh, from the chopper. I believe there is also a camera mounted to Eve's wing. So uh, a little later on, we'll get hopefully uh, something from a feels on top of the world. Look at that. Now, this is uh, this, a shot This of looks Dover. like Dover. Yeah, these are the people watching, uh, obviously. You know, yesterday uh, with this, uh, I think we, you know, I don't know how many people were out yesterday, but I think that this attempt yesterday and, and the fact that he called it off, and it's such a beautiful day there. So many have shown up to welcome him in, to welcome history in. Absolutely. What a majestic shot. Now, we're just getting some uh, pictures in here, and it looked like, well, there's Eve, and I think off the top of our screen, we had the uh, the Pilatus Porter as well, uh, guiding him in, his uh, right-hand man, Jean-Marc Colin as well. Well, again, in these images, uh, you know, hard to say, we would love to get in closer, love to give you uh, uh, some very close shots. However, there's a very real threat, I think, Nick, to, ye to Eve, if that, if that camera chopper gets too close to him. Well, you have to imagine that should anything go wrong with Eve, uh, these helicopters have to be far enough away that there's no risk of collision. And uh, if he were to get into the downwash of those helicopter blades, uh, it could be really bad news for him and, of course, uh, keeping it safe. Now, it looks like he's past the halfway point right now. Uh, if I'm reading that correctly, 14 kilometers uh, away That's it. A from little Dover. 14. One is what our map is, is showing. A bit of extra fuel, as we said. He got there a bit quicker than expected. What a real shot. Look at that. Well, you know, this man is a lifelong thrill seeker. He has years of experience as a skydiver, a hang glider, a paraglider, an aerial stuntman, and a water skier, sometimes combining all those things. And look at what he's done here. You know, with that body position, he manages to, to maneuver himself around in a loop, uh, very much like an aerobatic airplane himself. Uh, he's doing these maneuvers more than uh, think, a normal airplane. Is that his canopy out? 
The parachute is open. And there you go. So this is the part here now. He's coming under canopy. He's still got the wing strapped to his back. He's going to have to land into wind. And he actually, you'll notice when he comes down, he's going to be landing on his knees because he still has a 120-pound wing uh, strapped to his back. Well, as you spoke, as you said to me earlier, uh, he cannot run this out with that, uh, that uh, on his back. Now, obviously, this man has exquisite skill when it comes to skydiving. Oh, absolutely. That's right. Now, you can see him there just coming in. You're going to see uh, when he lands down, he'll try to land into wind. A couple of spirals for the audience there as well. And uh, once he touches down, uh, he, I think he'll be a very happy man. And of course, all of us so excited for him and uh, just to be here and see this. Well, you know, look at this. It's history in the making, poetry in motion. Yves Wasi coming in after a very successful flight. down to the last few feet right now just riding that in now do you think is he uh, is he uh, just gunning it towards the ground to get this over with or is he savoring these last oh few i think he's savoring these last few moments he's got to feel on top of the world oh absolutely look at that and look at the people just for one moment but i think for everyone involved such a spectacular image Nick, this is the stuff of science fiction. You know, Jeff, this is a man living his dream, as we were saying. He wanted to be a, uh, fly like a bird since he was a child. He wasn't born with wings, so he built his own. And today, he has flown those wings. Here he comes. See if he has one last little show in store for the folks in Dover. You know, with that ground racing underneath him, or the water racing underneath him at 180 kilometers an hour, I think he's enjoying the sight. Uh, just the feeling of having made this uh, historic moment. You see, he's got his hands up right now, so that's sort of the position he's getting ready uh, as he comes in for landing. And what he's going to do as he approaches the ground is pull down on those toggles to fire slow himself down just a little bit and then uh, come in for a, for a nice landing. Just putting himself into wind right now as you can see. Here he comes. Now we were talking about where he might land uh, because of some of the turbulence. It looks like he's landing in he's that down. alternate field. There he is. And there he is. There he is. Yves Boissy has landed in England what? after, if we could get an official time on that flight, that would be terrific. That what was fast. absolutely remarkable flight. And there's a look from the Pilatus Porter. You can imagine his entire team uh, cheering him on. Just an incredible feat. Well, uh, this is a historic moment. This is one of those moments in aviation with, with an Atlantic crossing, with Blerio's uh, channel crossing. This is a spectacular moment in aviation history. Ground crew running out now. To Yves Wasi, that shoot's still uh, catching some of the wind over there. Look at that. It's over. It is done. That's it. He's done it. Many years of work. And it's, that's it. A couple it, of his clothes.